You're listening to the Family of Tegeda podcast. Message from Leica. Long COVID. Beloved friends of the great planet. As you are moving exponentially toward upgraded bodies with crystal hearts, you remain in duality in these final moments of your waking dream. You face obstacles, issues with relationships and employment in many types of illnesses. On your beloved planet that you currently call home, you have been affected directly or indirectly by the COVID virus. In these moments we will discuss the after-effects of the many variants. Unfortunately many new strains have been introduced into the population without recourse. As we have shared before, the Galactic Federation has assisted in ways of operation unknown to governments. We allow free will and the variables of life chosen by each soul in form. For all that receive this communication, know in truth that you are not alone. The information that millions received from the beginning of the pandemic was confusing and ever-changing in scope. Vaccines were rushed and people were told that this was the manner to save lives. Many were harmed by the vaccines that Big Farm insisted would work. But everyone saw the lasting results on all ages, races and areas of the world. Then suddenly the masks were not required and science revealed they never worked. The issues around COVID became political as sides divided even more regarding the source of the virus, preventative measures and treatment. Now here you are again. News is constant with warnings of a new variant. One that is predicted to be more dangerous. This has become part of your world as people are bombarded with fear. Hold on to peace and stay present. You have made it through every single moment. And you can face every obstacle head-on as you deal from a position of strength within. We will review the condition that has been called Long Covid. Millions of people did not recover in a week to ten days. Many found that weeks turned into months and their symptoms lingered. New symptoms came and their doctors had no answers. These are the unseen and unknown people that live among you. Perhaps you know someone. Maybe you are this person. To everyone receiving this communication, we have suggestions and we offer hope. Long COVID will present in multiple ways. One might be recovering and realizing their dry cough continues. Weakness persists and it is thought that this is almost over. But it's just beginning. The weakness is soon exhaustion and the person becomes disoriented and dizzy. Sleep is difficult and fever comes and goes. Symptoms continue with difficulty breathing. The heart may pound rapidly and blood pressure goes up and down causing one to faint. Feelings of extreme temperature changes with feeling hot quickly followed by chills. This is indeed difficult to carry out any activities that were once so simple. Tremors and vibrations run through the body and head. Sharp pains are jolting in the ears, legs and body. If one visits their physician during this phase, they are clueless and can offer nothing but advice to rest and return for scans and MRIs if the symptoms persist. They have heard of long COVID but there are no meds available and no cure in sight. Many physicians order consultations and send their patients to cardiologists, gastroenterologists, and neurologists. The cost can be enormous as each person struggles to get well. While living in an imperfect world, we do not wish to add insult to injury as many will experience this malady without resolution even over many months. Some never completely have recovered from the onset of their viral infection of COVID. But there are many things that can be done to assist one in recovery. Let's shine a light on the areas that need assistance. This particular area of compromise is the central nervous system. This involves a vast network of blood vessels innervating all organs, the brain and hormones that flood the body. There is inflammation in the brain which causes extreme malaise and fatigue. Many remain in bed for hours a day. This can affect the emotional well-being of the one with long COVID and family that is also dealing with the condition by preparing meals and assisting in many ways. 
the gastrointestinal system has inflammation as the virus invades all areas. The immune system is overloaded and cannot keep up with the virus that continues to spread and take over cells. The body is a conscious form that knows exactly how to heal. This battle is going on but there is hope for all those infected. There are many things that can be done as you move toward recovery. The first and most obvious is rest. Don't fight it. Relax and lean into it. Listen to your body and you will know when to rest again. The next most important is to choose thoughts of healing. I am healed. I am whole. Continue with words of a high vibration. Your body physiology changes with your belief. Breathe deeply and focus on each breath as you know that precious oxygen in permeating every cell of the body. You are being breathed by love. Be strong. You are not alone. Take supplements of zinc, vitamin C, magnesium and a host of other essential nutrients available in any location. Avoid sugar as this causes inflammation. Lots of water and hot tea will assist the body with comfort. Warm turmeric milk will boost the immune system and aid with sleep. Soft music and meditation will calm a worried mind. Self-care is important in the healing phase of any illness. Do things that are simple but allow you to express from your soul. You might paint, write or cook a light meal. Each moment is moving you to a better day. Be calm and relax with a book or video. Know that even with the bad days, the body is moving toward stasis and healing. You were created to overcome and thrive in your waking dream. Never give up. You will make it to good health with a sense of well-being once again. We are one in love. En ikimai iya. I love you so. Leka.